It is Convocation Day at the Federal University of Petroleum Resources, Efron Delta State. Seated among the awardees at the venue is Chief Daniel Elozino Omoibo, the Chief Executive Officer of Danmotech Limited and Dantinajo Gold Resort Limited. For his philanthropy and human capacity development initiatives, the academic institution honors him with their word of ambassador of peace. I am happy for them to recognize or to know what I've been doing as a philanthropist or what I've been doing for humanity. I can't even say how God now moved me to this level I am today. So it's by his grace. I'm very and impressed. Everything he has been doing, it's been great. And I want to thank God for this opportunity, for blessing him enough to bless others. It's an opportunity God has given him. No matter what you make in life, if you don't use it to improve the lots of the downtrodden people, then you are not a good person. You have used his resources to empower people beyond even his own immediate locality. I, I can't remember anybody who have contributed more than him in the area of human capital development. Just how impactful is the work of a man who owns nine other companies? There are a lot of our people that have, that have a, a lot. They have a lot of resources, but they don't have the heart of giving. So my hope is that, is that he should be recognized, not only by this institution, he should be recognized by the, by the state, and also he should be recognized by Nigeria at large. The confirmation of the doctorate degree has also confirmed it that the man meant well for his people. The future will remain well for the Isoko people, Delta and Nigeria in general. In the academics, the downtrodden, and a broad spectrum of uh, areas that he has invested on. He deserves the award because he has contributed immensely to the growth of humanity in his only two way. Again, he stole the show at the convocation ceremony. On behalf of Dynamotech Foundation, I'm going to support your project with 70 million naira. Ofietime George, Arise News.